how do you create a virtual card in Cameroon for free without on without unnecessary documents like your ID card, your birth certificate, or your house uh, location? So, welcome to this YouTube channel. And before we go ahead of this video, I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I share lots of amazing videos like this that might help you one way or the other. I might also help you make money on the internet. All right. So I'm sorry for my voice. My voice is not um. It's not loud enough or it's fast. Please just on the YouTube settings, you can slow down the video. All right, or you can put it to a to a speed that best suits your understanding. And also, you can put on uh, the uh, the subtitle so that you can read what I'm saying. Okay, at the, at the moment of making of making this video, I'm suffering from a cold, so my voice is not really the best. All right, so to create a virtual card, for many of you might not know what a virtual card is. A virtual card is a bank card that is that you cannot see or touch. If any one of you have seen a bank card, it maybe it could be a UBA bank card, it could be an NFC bank card, it could be any card of every bank. It's like an, uh, an ID card and it has some numbers on it. So we're going to take a look at that maybe as we go forward. And I'm going to explain these numbers in these videos. That's why I say you should you really should really subscribe to the youtube channel so you use virtual cards you use bank cards to pay you can use bank cards on atm machines i mean physical bank cards on atm machines to withdraw money you can use bank cards to pay for for, for products or for services on online through uh, payment platforms like mastercard stripes and all the rest but now on the other hand a virtual card is not like a physical card you cannot see a virtual card Sorry, you cannot hold a virtual card. It's only on the internet. The numbers are only on the internet or only on the net. You cannot hold it. You cannot withdraw it. If you withdraw it, you know, it's no more a virtual card. So it becomes a physical card. Virtual. Virtual means on the internet. You cannot see and touch. Nevertheless, I think if you're watching this video, you should already know what a virtual card is. So let's move ahead. To create a virtual card, I want you to come here. Come to VCC Africa app. Just search that on your browser. Please, I recommend you search it on Chrome. For those of you who have google please use chrome or don't use any other browser like phoenix the reason i'm saying so is because if you use a different browser maybe the, the way the process might be different from what i'm showing you on this video so i only recommend you use chrome so once you search this is going to show up then you go to click on vcc africa and come in okay once you join it it's very simple please just follow what i show in this video carefully so here's the first platform all right so uh, on in the world today this is not necessary if you want to install the app to your phone you can just click on install but i don't want so i can just keep it uh continue in browser so now oh uh, in the world there are there are two main uh let me say bodies of cards that the card industry the payment industry there are two main bodies that are controlling it and that's the visa and mastercard for those of you who watch football you always see mastercards and visas anytime when the football match is playing because these are big companies that control payments of services atms all the rest i don't i'm not, I'm not here to lecture you financial <laughs> industry i'm here to show you how to create a card so like for instance let's let's go let's let's take let's choose one so you can choose any really i don't really see any differences between virtual or mastercard i both i use at them for i don't really differentiate so you can choose any for those of you who love longer words, you can take mastercard i think mastercard is the most is the most um is the most common and it's always like three years before it expires anyway let's go to mastercard and we'll proceed <coughs> Please, I'm sorry about my voice once again. So now, all right, the card fee is $3. These people have increased. Uh, all right, the card fee is $3, and this one here is $5. Let's go to Visa and see the card fee. All right, for, for if you are wondering, the card fee is for you to create a card and is when you create a card you can use it i think it expires after three years yeah something like that anyway visa cards are cheaper than as you've seen here visa cards are cheaper than uh than mastercard so i'm going to advise you go with visa card and then visa cards there are two of two types there's a basic visa card and there is 
there is a v, uh, a there is a visa card plus all right now for basic visa card the fee is two dollars card fee so for you to create a card you have to pay two dollars but for card this one you have to pay five dollars now but see the difference with this first one you have to pay monthly fee so you, uh, you pay monthly fee all the time so every every month you pay monthly fee and then this one you cannot receive payments like for instance if someone wants to pay you you cannot receive the payment so you cannot receive payment through this one and then one the card expires after three years so you card to expire after three years so that's two dollars for that three years period but now you have to pay monthly fee and then it's rechargeable through momo crypto and cards and then there's paper verification and rest anyway and this one is not renewable once it expires you have to buy a new one and then payments on crypto platform so you cannot pay on crypto platform but even though you can you can load it with crypto but you cannot pay it to crypto platforms so i won't recommend you getting that one i'll recommend you getting this one this one is very good because you don't have to pay monthly fee once you pay for the card you've paid for the card already you can debit cards you can receive payments you have four years validity so use the card for four years and so on see so i'll recommend you go for this one five dollars in camo she just have around two the three thousand uh, yes three thousand francs now you could you could choose to go for premium visa card here it, it's on but all the difference is that this one it has payment on crypto platforms except that you're using for crypto platform you can choose that but anyway there is the best one i'll advise to you so where you are here just click on get this card so now you click on get this card it comes with you here all right now here is a visa card now let me explain several things on a visa card so a visa card has three important numbers that's the card number the expiry date and one, and something called the cvv cvv actually i've never known the meaning of that i just know that it's called cvv <laughs> and i've used cards for years now but i've never really tried to figure out the meaning of that all right so the card number here is it this four three zero 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 one two three four that's a card number and for any card that's one of the most visible number on it so that's one of the most important number if you are if you want to purchase something online when they ask for the card number this is what you have to input now the card numbers are different for a visa card it start with four three for mastercard it start with five so you can get that different but anyway they don't matter that much because when you just put four three on a platform on the internet it automatically recognizes that card as a visa card all right, I hope you subscribe to this YouTube channel. You see, I'm already teaching you a lot of things. Imagine other videos that I'll be uploading to this YouTube channel if you've not yet subscribed. So, here's the card number. Remember, remind us, remember I said that this is the number that you input when you're buying something on the internet. The card number. When you ask for the card number, here is it. Now, the next important number is the expiry date. It's actually not a number, but it's a date. Now, the expiry date is the period in which that card is going to expire. So, for instance, this card, that, this one that I will choose here has four years. So, I'm making this video on today, the 22nd of August, 2023. So, if I create the card I'll create today, the expiry date will be on the 20, uh, 23rd of August, 20, four years from now, so on 2027. That's four years of validity. And remember, I don't have to pay anything in within that four years since I'm using a master a, a virtual card plus. All right, so that's the second most important number. The next one now is CVV. Now on the virtual card you don't get it here because someone can see a, uh, a CV on the internet and use it and withdraw money. Okay, for instance, if this was my card and you see this this for uh, this uh, long number and my date and you use it somewhere, as long as you don't have my VCC, it can it's not going to work. So the VCC is very important. Now, how, how are you going to get the VCC if you are creating a card here? Once you've created the details and paid for the card, you are going to receive the VCC, sorry, <laughs> the VCC on your email. So, they're going to send an email to you with your basic, uh, basic card details. Now, the VCC depends on, on country. For African countries, it's mostly three digits. Yeah, it's mostly three digits. Three digits. But for US, I think if US has four digits, but I hope you are not in the US. But if you're in the US, I think you understand that. So those are three main important aspects of a card. Now the the another important aspect of a card is the card holder name. The card holder name is always your name. So you can when you be creating a card to ask for your name. And when you're using a card, if you want to use a card anywhere on the plan on on to pay online, I'm going to ask for four things. Yeah, the card holder name, which is your name, the card number, which is this uh, long number here. 
the VCC, which I've explained where you're going to get it through your email, please, no one should see your VCC. So, CVV. <laughs> I'll talk about VCC because I work, I work on the VCC platform. Sorry, it's CVV, not VCC. Uh, all right, and then the last one is the expiry date. Always put it correctly. If, when all of these four digits are correct, all these four uh, parameters are correct, your card is going to, your payment is going to go correctly. All right. So if you are using this, maybe to add to a platform or, in, or, or put it to your Play Store, you are going to be needing all of these digits that I've explained. All right. So I hope you understand that. Anyway, you can choose to read this so to understand and no more. But if since you you read, I want you now. The first thing you have to do is to start on an initial deposit, and the minimum initial deposit is five dollars. So you can choose five dollars. All right. So card fee is five dollars. So that in total ten dollars, right? Remember, I'm saying that different types. You could choose the first one, which is just three dollars. But first, you must deposit an initial deposit. Remember, this initial deposit is your money. You can use it after this to pay someone, or you can withdraw it, or you can pay for something with it. All right, it's your money, but the card fee is, is, is going to the card platform. All right, so don't fear. Anyway, total this should be in Cameroon, this should be around 7,000 or more. If you're in Nigeria, this should be around 10,000 Naira since the Naira has lost value. Anyway, then when you are here, click on proceed. Click on proceed. Once you click on proceed, it's going to come with you to the payment platform or a payment dashboard where you have to pay those amounts. Oh man, oh, right, let's hope it loads quick. It's loading. It's loading. All right, you see, uh, you have to input your first name, your last name. Remember, this first name and last name includes your name when you be pay when your card is, is formed, all right? So you choose your country. I'm in Cameroon. So I'll choose. Cameroon. Let me just write my name. David. Uh, who can see my name? David Favor. My town. I can see Douala. And then valid phone number. I can just write your phone number. Let me see for instance. Alright. And then my email address. Oh, phone number. Send Robbie to my email address. Um, let me just see. Okay, I can write that. And then referral code is not really necessary. So you see, that's what I'm purchasing. Uh, virtual card times one is five dollars. Subtotal is five dollars, and then the card fee is six dollars. I think one dollar has been taken to pay uh transactions, so it doesn't really matter that much. So you can go now to choose which payment method you want to choose. So I want to, if you want, if you want to pay with Momo, I just click on I write my Momo account six eight one nine two three nine nine two. And then I pay, I go ahead, I proceed. So I pay now. When I click on pay now, they're going to send me an option to pay. Or they're going to. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, 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 didn't, I didn't use the right, right, right number because this my number money is not there. Okay. Anyway, so here's what is going to happen. Once you put on pay here, they are going to deduct the amount from your mobile money number and then now your card will be created the details are going to be sent to your email and then you will see your, your balance will be five dollars and then your, your your fee is six dollars remember this fee is for a four year period you don't have to pay four months you don't have to pay uh monthly charges or anyone again as i said you could choose any of them you could choose the one that was just two dollars per month uh, two dollars card fee that one you have to pay monthly i don't know how much it's going to be monthly because i don't use that one this is what I use. So once you pay this, yeah, 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 they are going to send an email with your card number, with your card name, with your expiry date, and your CVV. And now with this, now you can use now to do your payments on the internet. All right. So let me let me just say something. Um, for those of you who don't know how the CVV looks like, let me search. Let me see where you can see examples of bankers on the net. Let's go to image. All right, so here's how a bank card looks like. And let's see if they can see. Yeah, here is example of a detailed bank card. And you see if there's a bank card or see a CVV on it. All right, there is none, but nevertheless, because CVV people don't really show their CVV on the internet because someone can crop it and use. 
anyway this is the procedure if you follow this carefully you are going to receive an email all your details and then from there you can go on using your bank card for any purpose you want to use it for i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe for more